And I'm on, huh? Hey, everybody. I have missed you. So today, let's start off the way we start everything with uh, opening treatment. Okay. okay. And so let's know. Let's know right here, right now, that there is one power. This power is God. This power is life. And this power is expressing itself whole, perfect, and complete everywhere in everyone. I know that this Sunday lesson today is, well, it's the best I've ever done. And I am so knowing that everything that needs to be said is said, and everything that needs to be understood is understood. I am trusting this process and know that it is all done as soon as I say, and so it is. Did that. <laughs> so, let's get started. Today's title is Your Circle of Oneness. That's my title for today. Your Circle of Oneness. Now right now, it does appear that our country is experiencing a few problems. But even though it looks mm, bad, it still surprises me how people are reacting to this moment with so much fear and so much uncertainty. Have we forgotten that our teaching has prepared us for this moment? Have we forgotten that our teaching has empowered us for this moment? The problem, this experience, this moment in time, it may look bigger than what we have ever seen before and different than we have ever experienced before. But nothing, it's nothing more happening now than what's happening the last time you had a problem. So what is happening? Adversity, adversity, adversity is knocking at the door and saying, show me what you got. So you showed ad adversity what you had and what did you have? You had a grander idea than you had a moment before. And so what happened? The same thing that always happens when we stand in a greater idea of life, poof, the problem always disappears. So in that moment, life was asking and saying, I make all things new. So now, show me what you got. <laughs> you know what? I know my country, and I know we got this. But let me say this, the only things that we have trouble with in life are the things that we have separated from the universal oneness. And now it's time for us to change this state of flux by showing adversity what we got. But how did we do this? Well, we use what we got. We use one of our big dog powers. Yes, I'm talking about imagination. Imagination, our power to make something new appear with a new idea. Imagination. That is how we get to show adversity what we got. Now, Ernest Holmes, the founder of, our, of Science of Mind, says, he tells us on page 53 
of the Science of Mind textbook. What to do with a problem. Now, Ernest Holmes doesn't call it a problem. He calls it a discordant. A discordant. <laughs> he says, we should be able to look a discordant fact in the face and deny its reality. Facts. Facts. Now, facts change. Facts don't have to be the truth. Truth never changes. Facts change all the time. And we're about to change some facts right now. He says, look the discordant facts in the face and deny its reality. And then let's remember what Einstein said. You know, Einstein was a pretty smart man. He said, we must raise our consciousness because a problem cannot be so solved at the level <clears throat> of consciousness that created it. So, what we are <clears throat> experiencing right now is no more than ours, our country's consciousness. And it's a consciousness that is begging to be lifted up. So what are we looking at? COVID-19 and systematic racism. COVID-19. <clears throat> What is it? Is it God? Yes. Yes. Because it is health expressing at a different frequency than we enjoy. <clears throat> but it is health. Racism. Systematic racism. What is it? And is it God? Yes. It's God because it is wholeness expressing at a level, a lesser level, and outpicturing and separation. So all we need to do is imagine health, peace, harmony, and wholeness from an expanded knowing of peace, harmony, Peace, health, peace, health, and harmony. Now, I need you to see these essential attributes as God knows itself as health, peace, harmony, and wholeness. And this is necessary. We need an expanded idea to change anything. Now, what I want you to do is Compare your highest idea of health, peace, harmony, and wholeness to what we see in our country today. We're just seeing what we're seeing and then revealing a new idea that is a greater idea and expression of health, peace, harmony, and wholeness and then based on your new knowing of awareness of awareness you choose the new idea or the old idea if you see in your god's individualized mind's eye put it there <laughs> a greater picture than what was in front of you just one moment before, then you have just shown adversity what you got. If you have imagined something greater, more pleasing, and you continue to choose that, you have awakened. And in your awakened state of mind, you have used the power that you are to change our country, okay? But remember, we are not eliminating or separating anything. 
because nothing is broken and nothing is out of place ever in the universal circle of oneness okay it's as simple as that done let's change things let's change things you know i know about separating and eliminating things from the universal circle of oneness i know because i know for a fact that change change in life is as simple as that and i because i also know it's all god there was a time in my life where i was questioning god's thinking process and i asked god why didn't you all make us all the same couldn't you have seen that making us simple different was going to cause a big problem why couldn't you just have made us all the same i asked question and my god responded and this is what it said first boo because it always my god always calls me boo first boo uh-uh don't blame me for this flux and for your information hey I did make you all the same. Remember, I, universal allness, individualized my, my, all my illness to make you all. Now, how I made you is not the problem. The problem, boo, is you. You keep separating me from out of my universal state circle of oneness because you boo keep forgetting what I look like <laughs> it continued it's cruel I do keep showing up looking different and you keep separating me out of my wholeness because you boo don't recognize me my God continue <laughs> but it's on you I made this easy. I've already told you that my I am nation is everywhere. That my I amness is everywhere. I've already told you. I've already told you that my I amness is everything, and I have already told you that I am everyone so it's up to you boo for you to see me i made it easy when i told you i'm out in the present and then you looked it up and then you came up with a little ditty you were singing all the place there is no spot where god is not i thought you understood that but it's okay it's okay that you don't always recognize me I know you got this, but boo, here's a hint. I was, I was looking at your circle of oneness and boo, your circle of oneness is a lot smaller than my circle of oneness. Maybe because my circle of oneness has no circumference and my circle of oneness is limitless. Also, boo, my name, my name is not Humpty Dumpty. When you have a great fall, because you are me, and I am you, you can always be put back together again. Oh, boo, did you ever stop to think that maybe you all look different because I gave you all? different gifts after that <laughs> I have a personal practice of recognizing everything as God now this probably sounds very basic to you but the reason that this is so important is because we only have difficulties in the life 
in our life that we think are not God. The things that we separate and the things that we put outside the universal circle of oneness. So what did I do? I recognized I had to consciously see God in everything. I had to. Why? Because I was ready to use the principle that God is always where I am with no exceptions and no exclusions. I was ready for greater things. And there was no way in the world that I could believe that God was not out there where you are and at the same time that I needed to believe that God had to be here, here. So I consciously started putting everything back into the circle of oneness. I tried to consciously see God in everything. Then, I, you know me, I start ego, ego, I start playing a new game. How fast can I see God in another individualization of God that looked different from me? How fast can I see God when it's wearing a different spirit suit that does not look like my spirit suit? Because without this understanding, I would not have had the faith and the assurance that God is always with me. Now, it's true, at this point, you may be asking what this universal circle is. It's the circle of everything. Everything in a universe belongs in the circle, every form. Ooh, every possibility, you know I love that one. Everyone, every experience belongs. The most base idea of health, COVID-19, to the most base idea of peace, harmony, and wholeness, systematic racism to the very highest experience of oneness that you can possibly imagine. It all belongs in the circle because it's all God. So how did our country get to this point? How did our country get to this particular time and, and space? Well, it's simple. We don't believe that everyone and everything is God. We believe that the things we like are made of God, so we keep that in our circle, while the things that we don't like, that couldn't possibly be God. It looks different. So we put those things outside the universal circle of oneness. Now many of these thoughts are the thoughts that we have had for a long time. And these are the thoughts that we have normalized. And thoughts that we have normalized are thoughts we rarely consciously rethink. They are the thoughts that just run, run unattended on a constant loop in our minds and consequently in our country. They are ideas of separation. Just because something looks different does not mean that it is not God. Hmm. So let's take a look at some of the things we as Americans have omitted, have omitted from the circle of oneness over the years. Give me, here's my circle. 
I just happen to have brought it in the universal circle of oneness. See? So let me show you how what we have done looks. And I'm going to start off where we are currently. See, currently, the far left took a look at the far right and said, you're different. You got to go out the universal circle of oneness. You don't belong here. And then the right took a look at the left and said, you look different. No, you get out. And then the Republicans, they took a look at the Democrats and said, you're different, out. And then the Democrats took a look at the Republicans and said, you're different, you get out. <laughs> but it didn't start here. Our country has had a long run of separation. Ready? Let's take a look. The Native Americans, they look different out. Slaves, they look different out. Women, they look different out. The Japanese, they look different out. Okay, you may notice I had to get a smaller circle of, of universal circle of one because we've already taken too much out for it to be the circle. So here we go. Jews out, Negroes. Negroes, the slaves, Negroes, didn't matter. You still look different, out. The Irish, out, they look different. The Italian, they were different, out. The Poles, they were different, out. The African Americans, see, this, here we are again. We ain't going nowhere, but we still look different. Out! Okay! The circle is getting too small. So I had to get another one. Another universal circle of oneness. Oh! But can it really be the universal circle of oneness when we have taken stuff out? Hmm. Okay! The Asians, out. Hispanics, out. The Muslim, oh, let's just talk about all the religions. The Muslims, the Jehovah Witnesses, the Catholics, the Wiccans. They look different. They did things different. They worship different. And because they were different, out, out, out. Here we go. The little, oh, the little people, oh, got to get another one. And we haven't stopped because now we have added the lesbians out, the gays out, the bisexuals out, the trans out, the queer out, the questioning out. Different, 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 different. Daka, Daka out. The dreamers, out, different. People with various addictions, out. People with various physical and mental challenges, out. Here we go. Black Americans, black Americans. They said, hey, you still look different, out. But have you noticed that our country has changed? Our country is saying right now, whoa, 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 let's put them back in. Black Lives Matter. And I'm going to tell you, this is a hallelujah moment that you see this. Each, each of these groups have been ejected out of the circle at one time or another. Some of us have eliminated one of these groups while others have eliminated almost all of them just because they appear different. Your circle of one, 
So if we want to change our world, and if we want to expand our circle, then we must consciously put anything back that we have removed back into the one, the one circle. What we see as outside the circle is the things that we see as different from us. But Emerson told us unity does not mean uniformity. In other words, we are all one, but, but we don't need for all to show up the same. Don't need it. We threw out, we threw them out the circle because they were different. We took the easy way out. See, instead of us knowing them as God, instead of us knowing them as God, now that would have taken us a moment, instead of us knowing them as ourselves, well, that might have taken even longer, we named them other, because it was fast. You're other. And when we named them other, we threw them out. In conclusion, anything outside of the circle is an exclusion. We live in a universe of love. And love is all-inclusive. Love leaves nothing out. Yet we go through life feeling good about being tolerant. Tolerance. Tolerance is still separation. It still separates because it excludes. And since separation is the only thing that ever needs to be corrected, everything needs to be brought back into the circle because everything, whether we like it or not, has a right to exist in the circle. Now what we fail to understand is that our differences, when realized, are our gifts to life and to our country. I'm not look, just looking at your thoughts. I'm looking at the outpicturing of all thoughts, all our thoughts. What we are looking at is the race consciousness of our country. We are looking at our race consciousness, clothed in form. What we see today is the mental equivalent of our thoughts. We brought forth this experience with our thoughts. And the good news, the good news, because you know I'm going to always bring good news. The good news is that if a thought generated it, a new thought, a new expanded, a new clear, a new bigger, a new better thought can change it. <laughs> now, I'm listening to people talking about they want to go back to the normal. Now, I became aware of how many people wanted to go back to the old norms. What I have learned is people who have lost their expanded vision are anxious to go back to the old norm. Not just now, but yesterday's normals. Yesterday's normal is not good enough. Yesterday normal is not big enough. Not for us, because yesterday's normal means going back, going back to sleep, because it is based on the past. And in Revelation 21, 5, we read, Behold, I make all things new. 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 Therefore, our new expanded vision should always be our daily focus. We need to wake up. Wake up. Our work today is to stay awake. 
yesterday's America is not good enough. Seeing our new vision of a new world and a new country is like birthing a baby. Wake up. It's time to push. It's not time to sleep. It's time to push. 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 We're not here to tolerate our difference. We are here to bless them. So now, I may get a point to bless it all. And all means all. Everything and everyone. So, now, when complicated situations show up in my life, now it may take me a moment, but ultimately, trust me, I look at it and I smile and I laugh and I say, ha! I see you, God. <laughs> so, as it turns out, adversity's question, adversity's question of show me what you got is actually saying, Show me what you have got in your circle of oneness. And so it is.